Do you ever wonder how we can stop child labor in Vietnam? Not sure. Someone else's responsibility. The parents, societies. Or should employers be doing more to solve the problem? Imagine, what if your child had to work all day, in a factory like this one? Making the garments our factories sell and the rest of the world buys. Can a child still grow physically and mentally like their friends if they have to work? We need to do more to fix this problem. But first, let's understand the facts. It's illegal for anyone to work in the garment and footwear industry under 15. If they do, then that's child labor. A legal young laborer is anyone between 15 to 18 years old, but they must be documented and monitored. Only work eight hours per day, totaling 40 hours per week. And there's no overtime or night shifts allowed no heavy or hazardous work and have approval from a parent or guardian. Why should we care? Because factories, buyers and their brands are accountable for working conditions at all levels of the supply chain. So hiring child labour is unethical and illegal. We can face government fines. The brand's reputation can be damaged and will harm our business. So what are some good practices we can all follow? Have a policy signed by top management that states your company will not employ workers under 15 and will comply with legal requirements for workers under 18. Develop recruitment procedures to verify mandatory minimum age requirements. Carefully check important documents like identity cards, birth certificates and the family book. Incomplete documents must be verified by the local authority. Always do a thorough interview and check the original documents. Create a focal point for recruiting workers like the HR department. Train new HR staff to follow procedures before implementation and make sure supervisors ensure compliance. And be sure to evaluate policies regularly. By working together and maintaining good management systems, we can all make a difference and help stop child labour in Vietnam.